everybody. Welcome to the Match Factory. I'm Kareen. My name's B. And we're here at the store. Yay! We're recording a, a late evening podcast. It is an evening podcast. We don't usually do this. No. I think the light's good, though. We're yeah, not it looks dark. great. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's awesome. Nice, yeah. actually. Absolutely. Yeah. The dogs are sleeping. The dogs are sleeping. And the air conditioning's on. Thank God. It's yes. a heat wave. Yes. I, at least we're not in England right now. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thankful for that. So. Absolutely. Yeah. How's your week been? Busy. Yes. Busy. Yeah. yeah. Lots of things happening. Yeah, lots of things happening. Working on, working on, working on the handover here of the store. So yeah. that's been a lot. Yeah. yeah. But that's The good. wrapping up bit. Yeah. Yes. So there is a sign in the window right now. We did do uh, a little bit of work around the building, like sort of physical work. So pardon the dust. Sorry. Yeah. I've been cleaning for two days. It's yeah. going away. Eventually. It takes time. Exactly. What have you the been working on? to settle. I have been working on that cute little baby romper. You guys, I have just not, okay, one, I just haven't had the time to do it. Two, this thing, although I'm gonna tell you guys, it's adorable, it has lots of little instructions. There are not just like rest instructions. It's very like, you do this and then you do this and then you do this. It turns out to be absolutely beautiful. It is, it's it adorable. Lots of little instructions. So this is the front of the romper. And then this is the back, and I'm hopeful that I can knit the rest in the rust color for the straps. So I just have to knit the straps up, and then it will be done. And it's like, done. And you're, well, other than the leg holes. There's little leg holes that go on. Uh, oh, do you have to do that them. in the rust as well? No. Okay. No. It'll be in the creamy. I'm going to do it in the cream. Yeah. I had originally wanted to do it in the rust, but... Uh, there's not much of the rust left, folks. It's quickly disappearing. Well, because I'm also holding it double. Yeah. So that means that it's working through quite a bit faster. So I still think you might make it. We will see. I, I am hopeful. There, this, the straps are supposed to be seven inches. I think seven inches seems like a lot from here to there for a little baby. But, I mean, I'm wondering if they even measured it from the back, from the bottom. Maybe. Who knows? Folks, who knows? If you measure them from the back and they're long enough, and you can make it in the amount of yarn, it was supposed to be from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, and if not, it is what it is. So, anyways, that's what I've been working on. It's taking up my time, but like, I don't know. I just also haven't had a ton it's of time. It's summertime. To do it. Everybody's so busy. We've got lots on the go. So yeah, I'm hopeful that uh, I can finish it up and you'll have it done. Yeah, yeah. get it. So um, yeah, there's gonna be a little one that goes with it with the little hopefully so that's going to be the rest of the gift so the bear is going to be in a matching romper which i should have enough of the cream to do a matching romper for the bear so cute <laughs> and then the bear will match the gift and it's Aww. gonna be cute so side by side pick you know i just can't help myself so that's what i've been working on not a ton of progress but that's where i'm at so that's okay yeah what about you i made baby sweater yes this is the opposite end of yours. This was a quick, restful, fun little knit. Yeah. This little guy is called Kirby. Mm, is so that cute? cute? It's so cute. Knit in Vintage Baby. Yeah. So Vintage DK has, well, Vintage DK is still around, but they've repackaged Vintage Baby, mm -hmm. which is a DK white yarn mm -hmm. in smaller balls, 50 gram balls. 50 gram balls. So you could use it for color work or yeah. you could use it for smaller exactly. baby projects. I think they changed the mixture slightly. Mm. It's a little bit softer. Hmm. But, so the two baby. balls. That's slightly a, softer. Kirby is a paint pattern, okay. but it, the balls of yarn are five bucks and it took two balls. So oh. this is a $10 sweater. That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Minus the pattern. Or plus the pattern. Yeah, plus the pattern. But yeah. you know what? This is adorable. I think. So cute. If you're a baby knitter, you're going to do this multiple times. Look yes. at how the buttons are not spaced evenly. Yeah. I think that that is such a cute little detail. That would drive me crazy. Let's show the folks on the camera here. Look at that. See, it, one's like an inch and one's an inch and a half. I swear that's how it was written. Maybe I bet I it is. You know what? There's been a lot going on. I had a hard time <laughs> dividing that for the sleeves because I couldn't count to 63. <laughs> okay, can we just talk about these buttons for a second? I'm going to use them on my project too. They say handmade and are little wooden buttons. They are so cute. They are so sweet. Yes. Absolutely. It's adorable. So I finished those. And it's a nice golden color. Like on, when it was yeah. nice and close there, it was a little yellowy. It's very golden. Yeah. Golden. So we got something done. Yay. Yeah. That feels good. Yeah. yeah. And then I've been knitting socks. Of course. Of for course. the month of sock. This is 
number eight. So I'm working on August socks and I'm halfway through July. B, you're ahead of the game. I am head, ahead. Wow. If I can hold my own. Wow. Yeah. So this is a cute pattern. What is it called? I don't even know what it's called. I like it. Can yeah. we name this? We should name this segment the month of socks. The month of socks. What's it called? Tipsy Toe Socks by Sibarilla. Okay. Yeah. So it's a free uh, free pattern on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I gotta, I gotta get close Toa or uh, Toe up mm -hmm. with this really cool mitered toe. Okay. So it's all sh not mitered, short row toe. So the cast on is here. Huh. And then you you do Work all of these short like rows, and when I tried this on, it fits really nicely. Yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. That so seems like you're and striping you will have yarn, a right and a left. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh, okay. So I just finished turning the heel, nice little short row heel. Mm -hmm. This cute. cable is insane because it's usually the cable I do two at once. Right. But I did not feel like I could keep track of all of that two yeah, at once. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah so mentally. I just did one. Yeah. Tipsy cute. toe socks. Tipsy toe socks. I yeah, love it. I think it's super adorable. And yeah. this is the yarn that we got in. Yeah. Okay. Super socks by Lang. Gorgeous stuff. Really cute colors. I like this one. Yeah, I think they're all really nice. Yes, they are. So they have that nice little speckle, a little bit of mm -hmm. fade in the background color, mm -hmm. but a really a quieter kind of muted sock. Mature. Yeah. Mature. Mature. Mature sock. Yeah, exactly. Love so that's what that. I'm using. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, so we've got lots of that in stock if you're interested. Awesome. Yeah. Tipsy toe sock. I love it. Uh, it's super cute. Yeah. I would never have thought of that. I don't know where you keep, I mean, I know that there are a million patterns on Ravelry, but I just like, I'm always, I am continue to be shocked at the <laughs> the new pattern every well, month. <laughs> sometimes it's like, I'm just looking for something different to do. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, Like sometimes I just want to knit the brainless, like the, just knit them. And then sometimes the I have had this in my favorites for years. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're working through the favorites. Yeah. At some mm -hmm. point I'm like, Hey, that's really cool. Threw it in my favorites and I finally got back to it. Awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. I, I guess recommend. that's the good good part of like favoriting something and then coming back. Yeah, to it. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you spot these things as they roll by, and that's what mm -hmm. that's so great about. Yeah, I feel like the the honeycomb romper is the same. I've had that in my favorites forever. Yeah, anyway. and at some point, the right yarn comes along, or the right time, or the right person to give it to. Yes. And yeah. you dig through those favorites, and and then I go through my favorites and I delete all the ones I've made. Because I don't need it saved in my favorites if I have it in my library. Here. Yeah, in my library. Yeah. Yeah. Every so often. Cool. That's, that's wild. I do not edit my favorites. <laughs> my <laughs> Unless your... there's something that I'm like, oh, I really don't want to make that. Yeah, and sometimes I go on a kick. I'll be like, yes. I'll be looking for something, something specific, and yeah. then I'll throw way too many of them on my favorites, and then I'll go back a year later and be like, okay, that's way too many yeah. of that, that boat neck sweater style, and yeah. delete, delete, delete. Yeah. I bundle sometimes for oh. projects, and yeah. I find that helpful. I don't bundle. I have pages of random crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I work. Yep. <laughs> Cody okay. knows this. That's the hysterical laughter. She's like, yeah, I've cleaned up your pages of random crap before. <laughs> you know what, though? I don't bundle that much. Like, I can't yeah. say I'm an avid bundler. I just, like, have some bundles. Cool. Like, baby bundles yeah. or whatever, you know. Or the blue yarn sweater bundle. Yeah. Which I don't know what the blue yarn is anymore that I was supposed to use <laughs> for the blue yarn sweater bundle. Oh, but dude. I'm sure I made something with it. But, you know, you never know. Yep. Awesome. So, anyways, take care, everybody. <laughs> take care. That's Enjoy what we're the up heat. to. Bye. Bye.